Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today we're gonna go through all of my current empties. I do have an empties playlist. I'll go ahead and throw that up in the cards right up here. I'm trying to do these a little bit more often and I looked into my empties drawer and realized I had quite a few products, a good mix of makeup and skincare. So before we jump into that, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like empties videos. And if you wanna see any more, if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. So let's start with the skincare and i'll move into the makeup the first skincare empty i have i have two makeup white packets here that are empty both from neutrogena the first one is the hydrating makeup removing cloths they're okay they're not as good as my favorites which are the night calming makeup removing cloths you get how much do you get in here you get 25 per packet i just adore the scent of these it smells it smells lavender, but it's not so strong that it would really cause your skin to react or anything. This is the only thing that takes off all of my face makeup, with the exception of my eye makeup. I don't like to scrub on my eyes. This takes off all of my face makeup with one cloth, and it doesn't really irritate my skin. It's just my go-to makeup cloth. They do have a few different types of cloth in this line, like this hydrating one. I wasn't a huge fan of the hydrating one. I just really like the night calming one. It's just my favorite. I'm trying to separate the skincare from the makeup here. Makeup, 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 skincare, skin. Anyway, I've got one hair care, I forgot to mention that. The next skincare empty I have, if I don't drop it. The next skincare empty I have is a toner from Pixi. This is a mini of their Glow Tonic. This really wasn't anything special. It smelled a little strange. it smelled like plasticky i don't know like i remember putting it on and realizing like i didn't like the way that it smelled too much i didn't really see a huge effect on my skin and it's a little bit expensive for what it is even in the mini not a huge fan i wouldn't buy the full size or rebuy this one next i have a product from the ordinary i didn't actually use the whole thing up but i'm done with it and i'm getting rid of it this is the vitamin c suspension in silicone i tried to use this to replace my favorite vitamin c serum I really didn't like this. I don't like like a cream as my vitamin C. Like I really do need like a serum. This was not comfortable to put on and it didn't sit well on my skin beneath makeup, beneath moisturizer, beneath anything. It just did not like my skin and my skin did not like it. So I used about half of it before I realized it wasn't really worth it and I'm just, I'm done with it. Another product from The Ordinary that I finished up was the 100% Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. I got this on the recommendation of the Tayla for like fading acne scars and moisturizing and I've seen a good amount of improvement from this. When I apply this, I put a little bit of my moisturizer in my hand and then I just add like not even a full dropper. I'll drop one, two, like not a full dropper, like actual drops, two or three drops every night mix it together and then apply i've been putting this on my like before that i was putting this on my face like plain like just this i didn't see as good of a result i'm not sure just mixing it in with your moisturizer and i saw like my redness go down i saw some scars begin to fade i used up this whole bottle and i'm currently on another bottle right now so if i do get around halfway through that bottle i'll probably pick up another two or three because this is less than eight dollars per bottle and it's the best. I use it every night. The last skincare empty that I have is, oh, it's both happy and sad to go over. This is the Luna Sleeping Oil from Sunday Riley. And yes, I still have the whole box because it's so expensive, I couldn't get rid of the box. So if you haven't gotten this before, this is a huge box and then you like push it open and the bottle is right there in the middle. So this bottle is 100% uh, empty. I got everything I could out of this bottle this is the one skincare product that has made the biggest difference in my skin i use it every other night before my moisturizer and it's uh it's a, like a retinoid oil it just i can't really say much to like the the effects on wrinkles because i really don't have too many wrinkles i have a few like little forehead ones and some fine lines under my eyes but the way i've seen this the way i've seen my skin react like with my breakouts and with my redness and just overall like evenness this is over a hundred dollars and i've bought it twice 
it's one of the only things I will splurge on at this point because it's so good. And the minute I stopped using this, my skin was like, what the <laughs> Seriously, um, I, this is the one luxury part of my skincare routine that I will not give up. You can pry my Luna Sleeping Oil from my cold dead hands. So I forgot about this one. I do have one hair care empty. It is from Lush. This is the RMB Hair Moisturizer. I love to use this for deep conditioning my curly hair. It smells so good. It's avocado, butter, and jasmine. Oh God. I almost thought about keeping this just to sniff it. But if you do save up some of these pots, I think it's five pots from Lush, you can turn it in for a free face mask. So I just hit five of this empty, so I will be doing that. But it smells amazing. And when you put it on, even if you like rinse it out or just put it on the style, people will notice and they will say your hair smells amazing because it will. I tried this to deep condition for the first time a few weeks ago and I adored the way that my curls came out afterwards. Right after the shower, I'll take a big handful and just glob it through everything, put it up in a bun, and then I put my hot head heat cap on, leave it for 20 minutes, and then rinse it out. Your hair will smell so good, and it'll be so bouncy, and it'll be amazing. So I will rebuy this at some point, but currently I do have a few like deep conditioning masks that I do want to work through first. And since I'm only doing it once a week, I'm not going to get through them that fast, but I will be rebuying this in the future. They better not discontinue it, I swear to God. Before we get into the makeup empties, I have like one tool empty and that is the Beauty Blender Cleanser. I will not be rebuying this. I wouldn't recommend Beauty Blender until they can get their shit together. On to the makeup. So I do have two setting spray or spray empties. The first is the Milani Make It Last setting spray and the other one is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I do adore the Milani sp um, spray for setting all your powders down. It, it's really affordable and it, it's not like a long lasting setting spray, but it makes your skin look more like skin after you have applied all your foundation, your concealer and your powders. The primer water from Smashbox doesn't do as good of a job of melting everything together as the Milani which is what I was using it for but it is a really good primer under matte 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 foundation so if you're a matte foundation queen put this on underneath you're gonna you're gonna really like it even though it's pricey I have three primer empties and they're all like little mini babies little mini baby primers the first one is the cover effects mattifying primer one of the best mattifying primers ever so comfortable it actually helped my skin out like i saw my skin react really well to this but i have so many primers that also work well for me that i can't just run out and like rebuy this because the full size is expensive i have an empty of the hourglass avail mineral primer i didn't really see anything special with this wasn't a huge fan i don't really think it's worth the price and then the next i have the smashbox photo finish foundation primer this also, I think there are really good dupes for this in the drugstore. I really don't think you need to pay that much for a good silicone-based primer. My one foundation empty this time is the Chantecaille. This is, it's finally made it into an empties video. This is the Future Skin Gel Foundation in Alabaster. Completely used it up. I'm seriously, I'm gonna clean this out and just put it on display in my room because I love it. I don't have a problem. I have two concealer empties. They're both from Makeup Revolution. They're the Conceal and Define concealers. I have them in C5 and C6. My only like con like not happy part about this foundation or foundation, this concealer, is that I can't like get a stop. There's not really a stopper in here, so I can't pull anything out to really scrape the bottle to get the rest of it out. But it's still a really great primer. It's god can i get my words right today but it's still a really great concealer and i absolutely adore it i will be rebuying this some point in the future my powder empty this time finally use this up it's the urban decay velvetizer powder i adored this powder i didn't like it so much for mixing in with foundations though i think that's the main like purpose for it but it was just such a micro finely milled powder that it looked incredible under my eyes I found some other really good milled powders for under my eyes, but this was the first one, like super like finely milled powder I was able to use under my eyes and I saw such a big difference. Not only in like the appearance and the comfort like comfortability. Is that a word? It felt really comfortable under my eyes. It lasted throughout the entire day and it just 
worked so well under my eyes so i don't think i'll be rebuying this just because it's so expensive and because i found other finely milled powders that i do like as much but it's such a good powder get a sample of it if you can i have one like mini mascara empty this is from smashbox it's the full exposure it is the full exposure mascara i did not like the brush on this it is way too thick it is too big for my hooded eyes i did not like it and the formula was just way too clumpy for me so not a huge fan of that mascara i have an empty of the physician's formula ultra nope i have an empty of the physician's formula eye booster two in one lash boosting eyeliner and serum in ultra black i really don't know if the serum like the actual like growth serum has any weight to it because i already have a lot of hair and a lot of eyelashes but it is a really good drugstore liquid liner highly recommend you try it out it's so easy to wing out and bring a wing back in it's not my 100 percent favorite for lining the rest of my eye because the brush tip is a little thick but it's so like it makes a wing like foolproof really does <sighs> this one's gonna get a little negative this is the worst brow gel i've ever tried in my life in my life the i don't know what's going on i, I got a little heated this is the ulta beauty brow shaping gel and clear i put this on it never dries it doesn't i wore it throughout a whole day it doesn't dry it feels like jelly on your eyebrows and it made my brow product smear underneath it was the most uncomfortable thing it looked horrible ugh ugh i i hmm, hmm. I did not recommend this. I was on the lookout for a good clear brow gel and I really wanted to try this out and I have never had such a bad brow experience in my life. <sighs> Keep it together, Monica. It's going to be okay. My last empty is not really an empty, but it's I'm going to call it an empty. There are some lashes that are just ready to go. These are the Ardell Double Wispies. They're so good and they're so cheap. I wore these until they're literally like falling apart in here. They're so good for hooded eyes and it's so hard to find lashes that don't look like clownish on hooded eyes. So if you have hooded eyes and you're looking for a good lash that won't make you look insane, even for everyday wear, the Demi Wispies from Ardell. They got you. And I think we finally made it through all the empties for this. I think it's volume number four of my empties. Let me know down below what you thought of these products. And let me know what's the last product you finished up down below as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.